Hi fellow traders, I'm going to uh, recap this slow Friday I had today. Um, you know, the market was just pretty much dead, not a whole lot uh, going on. I was pretty excited this morning. Um, PayPal I thought was going to give us a big move, but you know, just kind of fizzled out. Didn't really give us anything uh, worthwhile. Uh, but I traded it. It was on my watch. And what I was looking at was, you know, here was, up in here was the 52-week uh, high. It was around 42.55 or 42.54, somewhere in there. And I was looking for it to possibly push this and give us a 52-week, you know, high breakout, which would have you know, ordinarily would be a nice strong breakout, a strong move up. So I was pretty excited, you know, even though we were trading below the VWAP here, I was still looking for it to open, you know, and give us a run up. So if we tested this and failed, you know, it would be worth a short back down to the, the 200, but my bias was long. So what I was looking for was to push this level the first five minutes and then take this for the five minute open range breakout you know off this 42.55 well once we got this candle and we pulled back you know I was pretty happy because I felt you know hey we we're either gonna fail this but at this point we were above VWAP all the moving averages so everything was pointing to the long side for me so I went ahead and got in a little bit early and whenever that happens, I automatically just have this this um, 10 or 15 cent clock in my head that if it washes real quickly, 10 or 15 cents, I'm going to take it off because there may be something going on with the price action. So that's what happened on this first trade. Um, I got in at 42.54 long and then we got this quick flush which is this this little um let me make the chart a little bit bigger this quick which is this um this wick right here we had a nice long wick down and so it took me out and then i reset again right here at 4260 um as we pushed over this 4255 level again and I was really looking for a stronger breakout. And you can see we had this doji here, this indecision. This is kind of an indecision candle here. And, you know, we got a nice push up to 43, which is, you know, where I wanted to take my first piece at 43 and then add back in. So that's what I did. I took it off at 43.09. And... Then I got back in here at 43.10 and was looking for the move up to uh, 43.50. And this thing, it just took its own sweet time. And it just wasn't going anywhere. The volume was going out of it. So as soon as I got my 2 to 1 profit loss ratio, which was going to be at 43.30, I took it off at 43.30. Um, still made a decent you know, gain on it, 168 bucks. That's not bad. But then if you look at this, this thing just, it grinded up pretty much the rest of the day. So I actually could have just left it on and just let it go until I lost the nine. Um, but, you know, I had some other things I wanted to do that I needed to do this morning and I couldn't watch it. And, so, and I wasn't just going to leave it on because, you know, who knows what can happen with this. So I just, I went ahead and covered it, you know, bought, sold my shares here, took that profit, you know, and just left this on the table. But that's fine. You know, I think I got the meter to move anyway. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, the next trade I took was ZION and I was looking really for the same thing um, I was scanning last night for 
stocks that were at the 52 week high and this one had just breached it yesterday and the 52 week high on it was at 3240 let me see I got a yep there it is I had to make the chart smaller so it would come in but this was the um the high it put in yesterday you know it pushed the 42 week 52 week high and this was what it put in yesterday so i was looking for it to go back green on the day and try to push this and get a breakout and that's what i was looking for so i got in here right when it claimed the um the red the green line then we got a pullback so i was using vwap as my stop because this was a technical level you know right up under it so if it lost this I know my trade plan is dead so when it held the um, nine here I went ahead and got in and it pulled back some more and actually you know tested the VWAP but it never could push back over and close back above this red to green line I mean it tried here and it pulled back and then I said well the next time it does tries I'll just go ahead and take it off and I just took it off break even um you know and that's why where, where that zero came in at and I just took it off at break even um, so it only cost me a couple dollars in commission so what you know wasn't a bad trade um then the last trade I took I was looking at TWX and you know everybody was wanting to short was wanting to get this for a reversal trade and you can see you know it was somewhat setting up but when it came down you had the nine was too close to this and we were over the VWAP so I'm not going to take a reversal over the VWAP a bottom reversal for me is going to be up under the VWAP where it's bouncing off a level of support going back up to the VWAP so even when it got down here there just wasn't enough room and so I was telling everybody in chat this is not a good reversal setup then when I saw this candle this was whenever you see this there's a lot of stop losses that got taken out you know, a lot of people that were short, um, probably waiting for this VWAP crack, um, got taken out here. So whenever I see that, that's telling me that this stock's going to go down, that it's got another leg down in it. So I waited. We got here at VWAP, and I took the trade at VWAP, um, basing it on a loss of these moving averages here. There was a lot of traffic up above, a lot of resistance. So, of course, I felt that this thing would fade. So, I got in just 100 shares. You know, that's all I could get in this account. But, if I got the point, point and a half move that I was looking for, it would make it worthwhile. So, I had a very little stop, you know, with very great reward, you know, on 100 shares. So, I just kind of waited and tried to let it work and you can see this was trending down and it continued to trend down but we just could not lose this 50 level it fought at 50 for a long time and it finally cracked and I just couldn't get anything out of it I just could not get anything out of it so I finally got out here at 31 um, which gave me like 35 bucks but you know I was looking for more you know, I was really looking for 135, 150 dollars out of this, but just didn't materialize. Um, and that's all because of the market and the way it was trading. It was really soft and chopping around a lot. So, you know, whenever that happens, you know, I'm not going to trade full size. And if I see a solid setup that I like that has great potential, I'm going to get in it, but I'm only going to get in it. A small size anyway 
because it doesn't make any sense for me to risk it on you know a, a trade at the end of the day so you know at realized game was 203 you know them commissions wasn't that bad today because i only had 11 tickets you know yesterday and the day before and the day before i had over 20 tickets every day but we ended up the day pretty good um, i'm pretty sure i'm over my daily goal right now which is 100 we'll see how much what i start the week off with next week i may bump it up to uh, 125 or 150 is the average that I'm looking for by the end of the week. So that's something I will, you know, address when I um, give my recap on Monday. Um, also, I'm trying to do some live streams here and there when I get a chance on Ticker TV. Um, I tweeted it out. I'll tweet it out again. The address, all you need to do is go on there and sign up or um, to my my channel so that you get an email every time I go live. So as soon as I go live, you'll get an email. And it's like a 5, 10 second, 10 second delay or something. So by the time I go live, you know, you'll have a little bit of time to, to click on it. Um, but I plan on popping in there a couple times a day and then doing my recap at the end of the day um, I was trying to hold on for this PayPal trade but it just started dragging out and dragging out and you know, I just clicked it off then but that's it for me um, I will be doing a recap video this Sunday um, to kind of see where I'm at now after this third week and kind of set some goals going forward so look out for that um, sometime Sunday. So everybody have a great weekend, and we'll see you uh, bright and early Monday morning in chat.